This video is about kinds of systems of linear equations into variables for 8th graders. 8th graders, welcome to your virtual classroom. Just a few reminders for your convenience. Get a sheet of paper and a pen to answer the exercises. To make sure you comprehend and follow through the concepts in the video, pause and replay the video at any time in any point. Now, you are ready. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Categorize when a given system of linear equations into variables has graphs that are parallel, intersecting, and coinciding. And determine the kind of systems of linear equations into variables. Now that we know the objectives in this video, let's begin. Remember that the characteristics of the graphs of the system of linear equations can be used to determine the number of solutions a system has. If the graph of the systems of linear equation is intersecting, there is only one solution, which is the point of intersection of the two lines. If the graph of the systems of linear equations is parallel, there is no solution because they do not have a point of intersection. The solution should be their point of intersection, which is not present when the lines are parallel. And lastly, if the graph of the systems of linear equations is coinciding, there is infinitely many solutions. All the points in the lines are solutions to the system. These characteristics of the system of linear equations can also be used to categorize them according to their kind. I have here three systems of linear equations. Just by looking at the systems of linear equations does not let us determine the number of solutions right away. What does? Solving and graphing does. But in this lesson, we are going to focus on the graphs of the systems of linear equations. Look at the graph of each system. The graphs definitely will tell us what are the solutions of each system. Let us go back in getting the slopes, which are the n values, and y-intercepts, which are the b values. How would you compare the slopes of the lines defined by the linear equations in each system? And how about their y-intercepts? What conclusion can you make about the solution of the system in relation to the slopes of the lines? For the first system, we can see that the slopes are different. m is equal to negative 1 and m is equal to negative 2. We can also see that the y-intercepts are also different. b is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. Given that they have different slopes and y-intercepts, they are intersecting lines. For our second system, the slopes are the same. m is equal to 3 and m is equal to 3. But they have different y-intercepts. b is equal to negative 4 and b is equal to 2. In our previous lessons, we can conclude that they are parallel lines. 
for the last system, the linear equations have the same slope, which is negative one-third, and same y-intercept, which is 2. Previously, we discussed that these kinds of systems have lines that are coinciding. By mere inspection of the constants, when we say constants, we mean the slopes and the y-intercepts in a system of linear equations, especially when it is in the slope-intercept form, you can easily tell what kind of system it is and how many solutions it has, if any. There are three kinds of systems of linear equations in two variables, according to their number of solutions. These are system of consistent and dependent equations, system of inconsistent equations, and system of consistent and independent equations. A system that is consistent and dependent has infinitely many solutions. These equations are equal and therefore their slopes and y-intercepts are also equal. We know that their graphs are coinciding. So the system of equations x plus 3y equals 6 and 2x plus 6y equals 12 is consistent and dependent. The slopes are equal, their y-intercepts are also equal, and their graphs coincide. A system that is inconsistent has no solution. The slopes of the lines defined by the equations are equal, but their y-intercepts are not equal, and their graphs are parallel. So, the system of equations 3x minus y equals 4 and y is equal to 3x plus 2 is inconsistent. The slopes of their lines are equal, which is 3, but their y-intercepts are not equal. And their graphs are parallel. Now, a system of consistent and independent equations has exactly one solution. The slopes of the lines defined by the equations are not equal. Their y-intercepts could either be equal or not. And their graphs intersect. So the system of equation x plus y equals 2 and 2x plus y equals 1 is consistent and independent. The slopes of the lines are not equal, their y-intercepts are not equal, and their graphs intersect. We can also determine its kind or classification by looking at the ratio of their constants. The table shows you how. Systems of linear equations in two variables is defined as a sub 1x plus b sub 1y is equal to c sub 1 and a sub 2x plus b sub 2y is equal to c sub 2. If the ratio of constants is a sub 1 over a sub 2 is not equal to b sub 1 over b sub 2, the graph is intersecting lines. And we know that intersecting lines are independent. System is consistent and there is exactly one solution. If the ratio of constants is a sub 1 over a sub 2 is equal to b sub 1 over b sub 2 is not equal to c sub 1 over c sub 2, then the graph of the lines is parallel. And we know that parallel lines are independent, inconsistent, and there is no solution. The ratio of the constants of lines with graphs that are coinciding lines is also the same as with the graphs of parallel lines, which is a sub 1 over a sub 2 is equal to b sub 1 over b sub 2 is not equal to c sub 1 over c sub 2. And we know that when graphs are coinciding, equations are dependent, 
system is inconsistent and there are infinitely many solutions. Now let's do this. Activity 10.3 has three parts. Part A, tell whether each statement is true or false. There are five statements to work on. For part B, fill in the blank with the correct term of phrase. Again, there are five numbers to work on. And for part C, identify whether the system is consistent or inconsistent. If the system is consistent, state whether the equations are dependent or independent. And also, state whether the system has exactly one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions. Don't forget, by mere inspection of the constants in a system of linear equations, you can easily tell what kind of system it is and how many solutions it has, if any. There are three kinds of systems of linear equations into variables according to their number of solutions, which are the consistent and dependent. This is a system of linear equations having infinitely many solutions, the slope, of the lines defined by the equations are equal and their y-intercepts are also equal and their graphs coincide. Next is the system of inconsistent equations. This is a system of linear equations having no solution. The slopes of the lines defined by the equations are equal. Their y-intercepts though are not equal and their graphs are parallel. And lastly, the system of consistent and independent equations. This is a system of linear equations having one solution. The slopes of the lines defined by the equations are not equal. Their y-intercepts could either be equal or not equal. And their graphs are intersecting. Enrich me more. Activity 10.4. What is the exact location of the treasure? Materials needed include graphing papers, pencils, ball pens, rulers. Coloring materials are optional. Lucas and Jerry wanted to locate the treasure left by their rich friend. The treasure is in the island where both are living. Both of them will only follow a straight line from their houses. The treasure is hidden in the location which both of them will meet. Lucas will follow the line with an equation of x plus y is equal to 6, while Jerry, on the other hand, will follow the line with an equation of x minus 3y is equal to negative 2. Replicate the treasure island on a graphing paper and locate the exact location of the treasure by encircling the exact point where they meet. And also, describe the location of the treasure. Now here is your map. Here is Lucas's house and here is Jerry's house. Congratulations! We just finished the 10th module of the first quarter. You are doing great and getting smarter. This has been your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. Get involved and keep on learning. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, click the bell so that you will be notified with new contents.